Morning, Mr. Milford. Morning, Peter. Wants to see me, Marion? Perrin? Reggie Perrin? Um, send him in in a few moments, Marion. Oh, my God! Has he found out the truth? But nothing happened between me and Elizabeth. Come. Ah, oh, Reggie, good to see you. <laughs> Sit down, old chap. <laughs> Cigar, old chap? <laughs> ah. Now, um, <clears throat> Reggie, about me and Elizabeth. She did come down to my house in Godalming to sort some papers. Yeah. It is true that I had unsorted the papers so that she'd take a long time sorting them. And it is true that I made her call me Bunny. But nothing happened. I was lonely, Reggie. Mrs. C.J. was in Luxembourg. Reggie, please don't tell anyone. In the hard world of industry, in the hard world of the instant blancmange, I have a certain reputation. Come! <laughs> Ah, Reggie! <laughs> Good to see you! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, old chap. Oh, thank you very much. Cigar, old chap? Thank you, CJ. Uh, so how are things in Sunshine Desserts? But, oh, going absolutely splendidly, oh, old chap. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. have entered a slight wobble. Yeah. I didn't get where I am today without knowing a slight wobble when I enter one. Ah. Yes, but I have high hopes of our new slimline jellies. Now, they should end the wobble. Yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> and uh, how are things with you, old chap? No, excellent, CJ. Next month I open my new shop, Grot. Grot? Yes, Grot. And uh, what are you going to sell in this new shop, Grot? Rubbish. Rubbish? <laughs> yes, rubbish. I have a notice in the window saying every single item in this shop is guaranteed absolutely useless. It's a completely new business concept. Yes, it is. <laughs> He's mad. I, mean, I think it's an absolutely excellent idea, Reggie. What can I do for you? Well, CJ, I'll, I'll, I'll come straight to the. I'll, I'll, come, I'll, come, I'll come straight to the to the point, CJ. I don't believe in um, in beating about the um, in be, 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 beating about the bush. CJ. You're talking my language, Reggie. I, I, I have. Uh, <laughs> I have made certain commitments to what can only be called the bank, which I can't fully, um, as it were, fulfil. So I was wondering if I could possibly borrow from you some, um, some, um, money. <laughs> oh, my God. Is it blackmail? I see, Reggie. What sort of sum did you have in mind? Oh, uh, shall sh 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 we say, um, 30? 30. Yeah, 30. Fine, 30. 30,000. 30,000 pounds. It is blackmail. Did you ever find out anything about um, Elizabeth and that Saturday and Tony Webster? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I did, CJ. She wasn't with Tony Webster at all. Oh. <laughs> you know, funnily enough, she was with a chap in your neck of the woods. Ah, cigar? <laughs> uh, yeah, we smoked for much of time. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, CJ, in Godalming. Oh, my God. <laughs> 30,000 pounds, I think you said. Uh, yes. Right. <clears throat> Pardon? Certainly. <laughs> God. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I meant uh, thank God. I meant thank you. <laughs> thank God, same thing. <laughs> there we are, Reggie. It won't bounce. Thank you very much indeed, sir. And Reggie? Yes, sir. No further demands. No, no, oh. of course not, sir. Demands, sir. Heavens, <laughs> you make it sound as if I were blackmailing you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much indeed, sir. Good. Nobody's coming. Oh, they will, darling, they will. Why don't you go off home, darling, and stop building up the stocks? Eh? I'll handle the rush when it comes, all right? Go, go make some more of those tasteless puddings. They'll go like hotcakes. <laughs> a few more of those square hoops. Get those rolling. Eh? Reggie, what have we done? Oh, darling, don't play all that. Please don't be impatient, darling. Even Marks and Spencers didn't make a success on their first morning. Oh, off you go. <laughs> off you go. And I may be a bit late because I've got the books to do. <laughs> the book. Hi, darling. Off you go. Oh, she's so right, of course. What have I done? What have you done, Reggie? What, what, what do you think? What do you think this is? A grotty shop called Grot. Who on earth in the right mind is going to buy Tom's wine and Dr. Snare's paintings of the album? Oh, good morning. <laughs> morning. Can I help you, madam? Just looking. Yes, certainly. 
Yes, give your eyes a feast, give your optics a treat of a lifetime. <laughs> it's all rubbish. Yes, absolutely complete and utter rubbish. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, very, very grateful. Uh, this is the first of many shops. I'm hoping to have a string stretching from Inverness as far as Penn. <laughs> uh, you see, Reggie, that's what you've done. Oh, clever Reggie, cocking his final snook at the world that has destroyed him. <laughs> oh. Morning. Uh, Everything in this shop is rubbish, is it? Absolutely, sir. Ah, I see. Uh, what's the point of that, then? Well, there's so much rubbish sold these days under false pretenses, I decided to be honest about it. Ah, you've got a point, there. <laughs> uh, there you have got a point. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this wine, uh, useless, is it? Absolutely revolting. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Only, you see, I'm uh, <clears throat> looking for something for the wife's sister. Oh, yes, and you don't like it? <laughs> Can't stand the sight of her. Uh, does she like wine? Oh, yes. She fancies herself something rotten with the old vino. Right. Well, I think she'll find the nettle at 125 mildly unpleasant. But if you can go for something a little worse, the turnip at 145 is really pretty awful. But if you can run to the sprout at 175, <laughs> horrific. <laughs> 175? Yes, but it is nauseating, I do promise. <laughs> So, the worse the thing is, the more it costs. Exactly. And that's really revolting, is it? Have you ever tasted weasel spit strained through a mold of <laughs> No, no. I, I can't say I have. Uh, is that how it tastes? Oh! <laughs> and that's just the bouquet. <laughs> You've talked me into it. Very good, sir. A wise decision. At 175. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Much obliged. And, uh, and 25. Change. And if by any chance she likes it, I will, of course, refund the money. Uh, <laughs> Odd shop, isn't it? Extremely. <laughs> Jolly good. Well, that's better. Uh, uh, see. Uh, yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, good morning, madam. Morning. This shop is new, isn't it? Yes, that is correct, yes. Who painted that? Ah, what a discerning eye, yes. That's a snurd. The doctor <laughs> used a snurd FRDA. FRDA? Yes, fellow of the Royal Dental Association. <laughs> oh, fairly rough and dodgy artist. How much is it? Ah, well, that is an early snurd. During his gas period before cocaine came in, so it is a little more expensive than the later snurds, yes. That one comes out at 40 pounds and 5p. I'll have it. Really? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> what an extraordinary choice. Right you are, madam. Thank you very much, Jeanette. Forty pounds. Right. Oh, thank you very much, Edith. Ten, 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 and five p. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We must keep the book straight. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much indeed, madam. It's lovely. No, 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 no. It's awful. It's awful. It's rubbish. <laughs> I think it's lovely. Really? Well, in that case, I'd better knock a bit off. There you are. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Oh, well, that's, that's the best I can do. Thank you. Good day. Ah, morning, madam. Good morning. Morning. Uh, 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 <laughs> 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 tennis. <laughs> square hoops? Yes. Oh, uh, what is the idea of these square hoops? Well, they're absolutely useless, madam. They won't roll. How much are they? They're hideously overpriced at £1.50. I'll have one for my grand's nephew. That's right, certainly, madam. He won't, of course, like it. <laughs> Nonsense. It will be something nobody else has got. And that is the main thing with children, isn't it? Yes, you're absolutely right, madam. Thank you very much. <laughs> Will it be all right like that, madam? Oh, perfectly. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Good day. Good day. Good day. Yeah. Something nobody else has got. Something nobody else has got. What a good idea. Something. Something nobody else has got. <laughs> Darling. I took £93.82. Where from? <laughs> <laughs> I took, he took me to the shop, the shop we made. £93.82. 
A lot more than I expected, darling. It's ninety-three pounds eighty-two more than I expected. Ah, see. <laughs> so little faith you had, so little faith. Well, look, I made some more square hoops. Good, good. <laughs> and some broken china. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You like it? No, it's dreadful. Mm. Just the thing for our friends. Yes. You don't like it, friends? Oh, they're delightful people, but uh, no taste at all, poor yes, souls. Yes, yes. Mm. Which one would you say was the worst? It is difficult. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Embarrassment of poverty. Mm. <laughs> yes, I think the sunset over Alba Fair is pretty awful. Yes. I always think it looks like the bloodshot eye of a drunken Turkish wrestler with cat. <laughs> you and your sales talk. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, well, the one on the end is the biggest, so it's 50 pounds, so mm. I suppose on that score alone it must be the nastiest. <laughs> it is rather nasty, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is, it is, yes. <laughs> Would you like to see it outside in the natural light? I don't Fine. think you're seeing it at its worst here. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah, Off you go. Cheerio. Uh, oh, oh sorry. Hello, darling. Hello, Dad. Uh, hello, Tom. Uh, has that man bought that awful painting? Uh, no, not yet. He's gone outside to have a look at it. Uh, you'll never see him again. He'll walk off with it. Oh, do you think so, Tom? Oh. You must realise, Reggie, there's been a total breakdown of civilization. I, I think you'll find, when you've been in business as long as I have, there are no standards anymore in this country of ours. There's no longer any room for trust between human beings in the modern business world. <laughs> no, no. You'll never see him again. Oh, Fifty pounds, I think you said. Oh, thank you very much indeed, sir. Yeah, thank thank you. you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, Tom, you were saying. <laughs> ah, um, all your stuff's rubbish. Yes. You've got a notice in your window. Everything sold in this shop is uh, absolutely useless. Yes. You're selling my wine. Yes. <laughs> That's an offence against the Trade Descriptions Act. No. <laughs> See why you were so secretive about your shop, Dad? Mm. I wish to withdraw my wine immediately. Oh, very well, Tom, if you insist. Yes, you can have it back, what's left of it. Plus uh, £3.75 I already owe you for wine sold. Oh, hello, Ah, nice to see you again. Did she, uh, did she like the sprout wine? She hated it. <laughs> I have a dozen bottles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now I'm sorry, these have gone rather more quickly than I expected. We've only got seven sprout left. Would you mind if I made them up with turnip? Oh. I think you'd be amused by its distinct <laughs> yobbishness. Oh, <sir. laughs> Good. Uh, that'll be um, for, with to 1925 with the deduction for the term. Oh, incidentally, so this is the gentleman who makes all our wine. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Uh, they're absolutely repulsive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh huh. And 25 HN. There we are. So now then, uh, will you be able to manage with that? Oh, yes, thank you. Thank right. you. Good. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice to see you again. Good day. Good day. Now, Tom, now with that, that makes uh, £17.45, I know. Uh, you? Uh, look, Reggie, I think I might have been a little hasty. Uh, what do you think, Lindy Squirts? Well, Tommy Plops, I would like proper wine occasionally. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, proper wine? Well, you know, French, Italian, German, Spanish, Hungarian, proper wine. Well, then you could give all yours to Dad to sell. <laughs> I see. Oh, sorry, Tom. Very well, Reggie. You may have all the wine you like. Wise decision. I'll keep the, uh, I'll keep the commission back for the time, eh? Shall I? Right. Right. Ah, yes, what can I do for you? I'd like a square root, please. A square root? Yes, they're £1.50 and they don't roll. Right. I know, Timmy Richardson's got one. It's a new craze going around school for being Irish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I've got a square hook. Oh, but Jabez, they don't roll. <laughs> Do you really think you're going to make a lot of money, Dad? No, I don't think I'm going to make a lot of money, Dolly. I think I'm going to make a fortune, that's what a I fortune? think. fortune? Yes. Yes, yeah, square hoops is just the beginning. Square hoops, square footballs, round dice. Yes, a fortune. At least that's what I'm hoping to make. Up. Yes, sir, what can I do for you?
We've got three invitations to dinner in the Poets' Estate, uh, one in Wordsworth Drive, one in Elizabeth Barrett Browning Crescent, and one in a non-avenue. Splendid. Now, the Manor Hill Boys' School wants you to debate the motion that the profit motive is a dirty word. Uh, it's right back and tell them it's three dirty words, it <laughs> And the Plimthorpe Flat Earth Society wants you to talk about dissent in the age of conformity. Yes, very well. we better do that one as well. Yes, all right, darling. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, the success, the success story. Yes, yes, the burden of success. Well, I better go, darling, otherwise I'll be late for... Yes, must go. Right. Umbrella. Thank you, darling. Briefcase. Thank you, darling. Have a good day at the office. Oh, I will, I most <laughs> certainly will. Morning, Bridgie. Can you be my guest at a golf club dinner on Saturday week? Sorry, Dennis, love to, but can't. Prior engagement. Good morning, Bridgie. Come to dinner on Saturday week and meet the short houses. Awfully sorry, Peter. Love to meet the short houses. Can't. Prior again. <laughs> shall I start with today? <laughs> the red one or the yellow one? I think the red one today. No, 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 perhaps the yellow one. Well, I don't know. Hello? Miss <laughs> Harris, would you come in, please? Thank you. Ah, Miss Harris, good morning, good morning. 22 minutes late black ice at Norberton. <laughs> Oh, Miss Alice, I do wish you weren't, Miss Alice. I wish you were Joan. You're neither beautiful nor ugly, warm nor friendly. <laughs> you just stand there. I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm sorry, no, um... <laughs> right, uh, that'll be all, Miss Would you get me uh, some champagne and, and uh, some glasses, please? Of course, Mr Perrin. <sighs> No, no, forget that. That's all over, Reggie. That's all past you. It's all gone and forgotten, that. And you've got this, you see? You've been... All of this is yours. Isn't it exciting? Yes. And you can stop talking to yourself as well. We don't any more of that. Don't any more talking to yourself. Right, we stop that. Right. Have you stopped? Yes. Have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, come in. Ah, oh, David, good morning, good morning. Uh, I've got those figures for the planning meeting, Reggie. You're, you're down in seven shops, level pegging in 11, and up in 26. Super. Good, good, good. Sit down, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Two years ago, you were opening your first shop. Now you have 44 shops and a manufacturing firm showing profits of three quarters of a million. Yes, Super. Yeah. Ah, champagne. Super. Good, good, splendid. Oh, uh, get yourself a glass, Miss Harris. Oh, no, thank you. Just for once, let your bloody hair down. <laughs> Quite sure, Miss Erith? Thank you, no, I'm on a diet. All right. Tell me, David, why are women with perfect figures always on diets, and why do female dietitians always 16 stone? <laughs> I don't know. Why are women with perfect figures always on diets, and why do female dietitians always 16 stone? <laughs> It wasn't meant to be a riddle, there, is it? <laughs> <laughs> the world is absurd, that's why. Cheers, cheers. 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 <laughs> well, you, you're not sorry you came to work for me, are you, David? Oh, I, I'll say not. <laughs> when CJ made me redundant like that, <laughs> just before my wedding and everything, it, it took away all my self-confidence. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Did I ever tell you what happened then? Yes, yes, you did, yes. I, I read about your success. Yes, I, I wrote you 18 letters. I know, yes. I, I tore all 18 up. Mm, I know, yes. <laughs> Yes, and then, 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 then Prue made you write to me again, and I took you on, and you're very happy, and she's the most wonderful girl in the world, right? Oh, you, you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, David, do you think they made you redundant at Sunshine Desserts for economy reasons, or because they were dissatisfied with you? I, I, I'm nothing special, Reggie. No, no, don't deny it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't going to. <laughs> but, I, I, I'm nothing special, but although this may sound big-headed, I, I think I'm... Adequate. 
<laughs> so I like to think it was for economy reasons. I see. Oh, but, uh, uh, no, on the other hand, that, of course, you could be wrong, and it could well be because, because they were dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. Oh, yes, yes. Or yes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. you could have been right in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> economy reasons. That's it. Well, that's very interesting. Yes. Unfortunately, it's finished. Well, good, good. Now, oh, isn't it interesting that Sunshine Desserts is having such a bad time, eh? <laughs> Bit of a title for the book, eh? Mere success and Sunshine Desserts failing. <laughs> not that it gives me any pleasure at all. No, no, no. no pleasure. No interest, yes, but not pleasure, no. Yes, I think I'll drop in on CJ and see him. I, I owe him some money. And I think I might call in on Tony as well. See if I can get Joan to come and work here in place of the dreaded Miss Harris. Give my luck to Tony. <laughs> I, I wonder if he's still saying great all the time. Oh, I expect so. Super. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, you don't want me to be drunk at the planning meeting. Oh! <laughs> Uh, ah, good, good, good. I think we, uh, think we all know each other, don't we? Esther Pigeon Research, Morris Coates Advertising, <laughs> and David Harris Jones Hickerby. Right? <laughs> uh, now we've got a press release, haven't we? Uh, thank you very much. Yes, this is going out tomorrow. Uh, March was the most successful month yet for Grot. We launched our new silent LP, Laryngitis in 30 Lands, featuring the <laughs> silence of Max Bygraves, Des O'Connor, the Bay City Rollers, the Six Pistols, and Rolf Harris. It has sold millions. Some pub landlords are even playing it as background silence. We've also introduced <laughs> upright models of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, leaning models of the Eiffel Tower, and rubber razor blades for nervous shavers. <laughs> April promises to be an even better month in store for the British public are such treats as porous waterbeds, heat-resistant saucepans, teas not made, mouse traps made entirely of cheese, and the ideal gift for the motorist you don't like, the elastic tow rope. <laughs> good thinking. Like it. Super. Smashing. With you. Super. Jolly good, jolly good. Well, we had a sales campaign for a new innocuous white pill, your findings, Esther? 32% of people over 55 in the Wirral and 2.1% of people under 43 in the Gorbals liked the idea. 23% of those under 35 in the Wirral and 7.6% of those over 52 in the Gorbals thought it possible. 23.6% found it difficult to swallow. 26.9% of replies in the Gorbals were rejected by the computer which suffered two fuses and a blowout. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think that's fine. Splendid. Jolly good, yes? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I may be a bit slow on the uptake. Yes? But, but, but why should people buy a pill that doesn't do anything? Because it comforts them, Dave. Of course it comforts them, you see. This has, has no effects whatsoever. Therefore, it can have no side effect. You don't have to keep it out of the reach of children, and Catholics can take it. Morris, <laughs> any ideas for advertising on that one? Oh, well, um, how about, um, off the top of the head, toss it in the sea tray, see if the budgie bites. Um, how about uh, Perrin's pills? They don't look good. They don't taste good. They don't do you any good. Yes, yes, that's not bad. Yes, not bad. Now then, about those Perrin's insoluble suppositories, they still going up well? <laughs> 9.8% of the 32% over 55 in the, in the Wirral, and 36% of the 2.1% in the Gorbals who like the pill also like the idea. 33.7% in the Gorbals told us <laughs> where we could put the insoluble suppository. <laughs> well, I think we'll push ahead with both of those, shall we, then? <laughs> now, then, we've had a few new ideas from the design team. See how they grab you. Uh, egg cup? No. <laughs> with the egg. Can't get at it. Throw it sets with no holes. You can't get anything out. Not only that, you can't put anything in. <laughs> Smashing. <laughs> Do you know, it is nice being the boss because everybody agrees with everything you say. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> Reggie. Get out. <laughs> 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 Congratulations on your success. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. How are things going here? Thank you. Oh, great. Yeah. Amazingly well. <laughs> this is Success City. Oh, oh, oh. I'd heard things were going rather badly. I'm glad to hear they're not. No, 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 no. 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 Cigar? Oh, thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Yes, I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. Yeah, CJ's at a rather critical meeting. Oh. Uh, well, when I say critical, I don't mean critical. Of course, I mean sort of important. Yes, you know, yes, well, yes. I mean, not in important, no. really. Sort of, no. I mean... Yes, go on. Well, CJ's at this um, totally unimportant, unimportant meeting. meeting. Yes. <laughs> and, um, I've been looking through the papers on his desk. Excellent figures, Reggie. Good, good, good jolly good, jolly good. Yeah, talking of excellent figures, how is Joan? Uh, <laughs> I married her, you know. Uh, yes, yes, I know. Uh, she's left. 
Ah, happy event. Oh, no, no, no. No? No? no. We, uh, we honeymooned on the Italian Riviera. Uh, oh, honestly, Reggie, it was great. Yes. Like there'd never been anybody else. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yes, I do. I know exactly what you mean. Marvellous. Yes, yes. Marvellous. Yeah. Made for each other. Mm -hmm. And then on the second Tuesday, I met this Finnish chick. Yeah. Joe found out. Exit bomb marriage. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, we were both on the rebound. Do you remember my dolly bird with no bristles? I don't remember an attractive young lady. Yes, I didn't particularly remark the absence of memories. No. <laughs> I was on the uh, rebound from her, and Joan was on the rebound from... F from who? Uh, uh, well, quite frankly, Reggie, I always thought she fancied you. Me? Good heavens. Oh, nonsense, Joan. No, absolute nonsense. Of course, she didn't f fancy... <laughs> <laughs> Me pain, you Joan, him left at church. <laughs> uh, that's a, that's a nonsense, that's been, uh, Of course, no, she never fancied me, and I certainly didn't, uh, I certainly didn't fan... But where's she working? Uh, no. At the, um, the Glycero Oitman Corporation in Godalming. Good, 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 <laughs> good, God. God, Godalming, good, good. <laughs> Yes. No, no, I have no interest in Joan particularly. No, 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 not at all. I just thought I might possibly look her up and perhaps offer her a job at my... Uh, my... <laughs> great. Yes, yes. <laughs> so everything's going well here, then. Uh, very good. Oh, great, yes. yes. How's, um, how's David Harris-Jones setting in? Oh, very well, Tony, very well, yes. Still yes. saying super all the time, is he? Yes, great. <laughs> <laughs> disaster, Tony. Absolute disaster. I didn't get where I am today without recognising Reggie Perry, <laughs> <laughs> First class meeting, quite excellent. Uh, mm. uh, if you want to be alone, we turn to discuss business, CJ. Oh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 nothing like that. I'll uh, see you in the office in two minutes. Uh, no, 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 you're not in the way, not in the way at all. No, 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 nothing private. Goodbye, Tony. <laughs> uh, I'll talk about the excellent meeting then, CJ. Yeah. Mm. I've just been looking at the excellent figures on your excellent desk. Yeah. <laughs> excellent. Come along in, Reggie. Oh, thank you, CJ. <laughs> yeah. Cigar, old chap? Uh, no, thank you, Sir Jay. They're a little smaller, but I still only smoke them one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Reggie, I always knew that you would do well. Uh, thank you, Sir Jay. It's the early bird that catches the quick brown fox, eh? <laughs> Every time, Sir Jay. I'm delighted that Grot has been such a success. Oh, thank you, Sir Jay. I always knew it would be. Mm, more than I did. I didn't get where I am today without knowing that Grot would be a success. Mrs. C.J. and I are absolutely delighted. Oh, I said to her in bed only last night, Mrs. C.J., I said, <laughs> I am absolutely delighted with Reggie Pennant's success. So am I, C.J., she said, I am absolutely delighted. With <laughs> so you can see, Reggie, we're both absolutely delighted with your success. But you didn't come here today to listen to me telling you that I'm absolutely <laughs> delighted with your success. But I am, Reggie, absolutely, absolutely delighted with my success. No, I didn't suggest, as a matter of fact, I, I came uh, to repay you the loan. Uh, you made me uh, £30,000 over two years. I thought at um, 11%, shall we say. Uh, there's my cheque for £36,600. Uh, it won't bounce, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but um, it wasn't exactly a, a loan, was it, Reggie? Well, what do you mean? Of course it was a loan. What else was it? <laughs> well, Reggie, you and I are men of the world, eh? No need to beat around the mulberry bush, eh? You're talking my language, did you? <laughs> well, I'm a gentleman. I think it's bad form to take back a blackmail ransom, especially at 11%. Blackmail ransom? I know you're successful, Reggie, and I'm absolutely delighted that you're successful, but there's no need... What? What, what, what do you mean, blackmail, CJ? <laughs> well, it was, um... Blackmail, wasn't it? Of course it was. What on earth gave the idea it what? was blackmail, CJ? Good heavens, well, no wonder you gave me the money so readily. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Good. But, but, but yeah. what on earth did you think I was blackmailing you about? Uh, yes, well, my little peccadillo. Uh, my extremely little peccadillo with the Dalmatian Countess. The Dalmatian Countess? The Dalmatian Countess I met in Godalming. Oh, I see. Oh, no, I didn't know. Oh, I, I, was, I was led on, Reggie. You know what these Dalmatian Countesses are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I don't know. They, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I didn't know anything about... No, it wasn't blackmail. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sure the money will come in very useful. Yes, it will. Uh, not that we're in any, any difficulty. No, no, I mean, we have entered another slight wobble. I didn't get where I am today without recognising another slight wobble when I yes. see one. <laughs> our slimline jelly sank without trace. Oh, but okay. I, <laughs> I have hopes that our new cure custards will cause quite a stir. Oh, I, 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 I'm sure they will. I'll be delighted if they will. I'm delighted that you're delighted. Yeah, I'm delighted. You're delighted. Oh. I'm delighted. 
And if by any chance all your pure customers don't cause quite a stir, and of course they will, and if you are in trouble, perish the thought, and of course you won't be, but if you are, come and see me. Yes, I will, thank you, Reggie. If by any chance all your pure customers don't cause quite a stir, and of course they will, and if I am in trouble, perish the thought, of course I won't be. If I am, I will. Yes. <laughs> I'm absolutely delighted, Sir Jay. It's... Mm. 